Let's talk gingerbread, and I am not talking about the little men, the cookies with icing, or not even the houses. I am talking about old-fashioned gingerbread, like actual bread loaves. That is what the cookies are based off of and what I'm going to show you how to make today. One of the reasons why I love this recipe, it's literally a one bowl wonder. You stir it all together with a whisk, no hand mixer required, dump it in a pan and it's super easy to make. So let's get started. Hot water, almost boiling, cubed butter. This is sorghum, which is a very popular Southern ingredient, very similar to molasses, but it kind of to me tastes like cane syrup and is literally way better than cane syrup and molasses combined. So tasty. Dark brown sugar. The flavor of a gingerbread cookie is like so Christmas to me and I love the smell of it when it's baking in my house. So I think this recipe I honestly love more than the cookies for that reason because it's soft and moist like a cake but also kind of like a bread loaf. Once all of your butter is almost melted, you're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes until it's lukewarm, and then come back in and crack your egg into it so you can whisk in your dry ingredients. Lukewarm. All right, crack an egg. Really the only reason that you have to wait on letting this mixture get to lukewarm is because you don't want your egg to scramble or cook before you add in your other ingredients because it's gonna cook in the oven. If you were to do that and cook your egg now, like, mm -mm, it would be no bueno when it came out. Um, if you forget an ingredient, it's totally fine. I forgot to put the baking soda into this hot water mixture before I cracked my egg into it. So I'm just gonna do it now. It doesn't mess it up, I promise. Now for the dry ingredients. Flour, and then literally all of the spices, like, one, two, three, four, six of them. Here are all the spices that it goes, that go in there. We've got cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and ginger. And then we're throwing a little curveball, black pepper. It just adds a little bit of hint of like spice. Not that these things don't, but like just to like, <gasps> what is that? It's black pepper. I'm whisking this up and I'm literally getting all of the smells for Christmas, like y'all. I wish you could smell it. Do you have a favorite Christmas spice or Christmas dessert that kind of smells like this and makes your whole house smell amazing during the holidays? If you do, I would love to read about it in the comments on our YouTube page. So head there, make a comment, subscribe to Southern Living on YouTube, add in your flour. It literally smells so good. The batter consistency is like somewhere between cake batter and pancake batter. It's a little thin. Do not be alarmed. I promise it will all turn out okay. The recipe does not tell you to line your baking sheet or your baking pan with parchment paper. The only way you're ever gonna ensure that your cake comes out of your pan is parchment paper. Here's my trick. I'm going to fold it. My pan is a nine by nine. So I really wanna fold this until it's about nine inches, which looks to fit. Oh, y'all, I'm really proud of myself right now. Nicely lined pan, pour your batter. We're gonna bake this at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes or until a toothpick or a fork or a knife or whatever you have on hand comes out clean. While your gingerbread is baking in the oven and your house is smelling all kinds of Christmassy, you can go ahead and make your brown sugar and ginger whipped cream, which honestly is like not just good on the gingerbread cake, but like kind of perfect for any other situation you might need whipped cream for around the holidays because it's just like super festive and way better than plain whipped cream. So get started. Very, very cold, heavy whipping cream. Give it a little whip. This is almost at the soft peak stage. It's mostly whipped and I'm gonna put my brown sugar, ginger, and vanilla. Whisk this up until firm peaks form, which is gonna take like 20 seconds. So you don't dirty up any other bowls. You can just put this into your fridge while your gingerbread is finishing baking and then cooling and it'll be nice and cold to top your 
cooled gingerbread when you're ready to serve it. Once it comes out of the oven, let it cool in the pan for about 10 minutes and then you can transfer it to the wire rack to cool completely. Gingerbread is cooled completely all the way. You can even make this ahead for up to three days and store it in an airtight container until you're ready to serve it. I will say you don't want to make your whipped cream until you are ready to serve it though because that will only hold for about two hours. Like I said, I know the title is Old Fashioned Gingerbread. This is not something that you would use to decorate cute little men or make into a house. Instead, it is more like cake and is super delicious. Fun part, topping it with whipped cream. Y'all, this stuff is delicious. And there we have it. Super easy, one bowl wonder gingerbread cake not cookies, and in my opinion, the gingerbread you should be making for the holiday season. If you want more super easy Christmas recipes like these, be sure to subscribe to Southern Living on our YouTube page. I will see y'all next Friday. Merry Christmas. Mm.